Hello, it's me again, May to December. Today I'm reviewing The Family, which is a horrible movie. I hate the movie and I think it's terrible. I watched this movie and how long is it? It's nearly two hours long. Yeah, an hour and 51 minutes long. It starts Robert De Niro and his family. Basically, they're in witness protection because he ratted out on his own family. Yeah, he believes he's still got the whole mob rules and all this Costa Nostra crap. And basically, him and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer have got these two kids who I don't really care about what their names were because they weren't that interesting. The son basically tries to blackmail people in school and beats the kids up for attack him and basically tries to make their life live in hell by making underhand deals with doing um, paperwork for people, selling drugs, stuff like that. And, you know, not a very interesting case. It's more interesting than it is. The daughter, the daughter beats up a girl, beats her up. Basically, some guy, some French guys try to uh, rape her, basically, and she beats them up and drives off in their car. Uh, and then she fantasizes about a teacher who had sex with her and then can't bother with her. And that's the most interesting scene for her, the sex scene. Even that was boring. Uh, Robert De Niro plays... Um, who does he play? Because I don't really care. Let's see. Uh, he plays Fred Blake. And Michelle Pfeiffer plays Maggie Blake. And basically, uh, they're in witness protection in Normandy. And, and Tommy Lee Jones comes out every now and again and he looks haggard. And so does Michelle Pfeiffer, to be honest. Michelle Pfeiffer looks very haggard. But anyway. So, basically, they're in witness protection. There's two guys across the road watching federal agents. So, basically, Michelle Pfeiffer's character Maggie goes and gives food to her every now and again. And... For the whole movie, Robert De Niro was doing that, you know, that um, stereotypical mobster crap where he's breaking people's legs and stuff. And the mob are looking for. Now, these are some spoilers because the film's awful and you don't really want to watch it. If you read it, you know, you don't really watch it because it's terrible. So, here's some spoilers. The fact that basically, the, the mobsters turn up who are looking for him, all in black, all at the station. Now, they know him and his family. His son's sitting at the train station, but they don't realise it's him. So he runs along, and then the daughter's going to jump off a building because the teacher doesn't want her. So she sees, for some reason, she's very high up, and she sees this car, she sees these guys in black shooting in a police station. Realises it's the mob. Alright, yeah. Um, Robert De Niro's character, Fred Blake, is at, is at a convention talking about, not a convention, at this event where they want to talk to him about movies and stuff because he's supposed to be a book writer because he told him that and Goodfellas plays which is quite funny because he actually stars in Goodfellas but you don't see him on the screen obviously because that would have been funny if he said that guy looks like me that would have been a real comedy moment um, so then he talks and Tony Jones goes oh you know we ruined it we need to move the family out so basically they get the, the mobsters turn up at the house they've got a, they've got a bazooka rocket launch and they blow up the house now uh, Michelle Pfeiffer and Maggie's cat, the who plays Maggie, is screaming and then the two federal agents are stopping her from screaming by putting their hand over her mouth and Robert De Niro's inside. Boom! Blows up. Robert De Niro's dead. Nope. He comes out from under the rubble and goes, huh? And basically the two kids shoot the people and basically they meet them all. Tony, Tony Lee Jones runs the last one over. A very, very horrendous, boring piece of rubbish but I wasted two hours on. Now, I'm a big Robert De Niro fan, but this film was just, ugh, horrendous. You know, I I know I've, put, I know I've ruined a lot of it for you, if you're watching this, but at the same time, you're... Oh, sorry about that. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. At the same time, you're not going to care, because the movie itself is just... After ten minutes in, you want to turn it off, because it's just... Crap after crap after crap. And like I said, the daughter's the best looking part of it, and I wish to see her more stuff. But when you think this is a film, I think it's directed by Luke Besson. Yep, directed by Luke Besson. And it's got exit producer Martin Scorsese. You're like, well, these two people have really gone down nil. When you think Martin Scorsese, I think we see Dan Wolf from Wall Street. And Luke Besson is known for his French movies, obviously, like The Transport and Leon and all that. You know, you're just thinking to yourself, 
wow, they really, they really blew it on this film. So anyway, the family, don't buy it, don't rent it, don't even bother with it. Thank you.